Hey YouTube, this is Angie and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. It is lit, it is lit, it is lit. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing just great. Just great. Um, today we're watching scary, scary, <laughs> scary videos that will make your heart pound. I think my heart pounds every day, but we'll just see if it pounds any harder. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, and I think I just said subscribe. Subscribe. I can't talk anymore. It's all this medication I'm on for my mental. I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't think. So one day I'm just going to be a vegetable. All right, and this is by Chills Clips. Let's get into the video. Let's go. A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast-moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. Panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. Yep. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to enter the Devil's Cave, and what they will witness here may change them forever. <clears throat> the guys seem rattled as they approach the cave, and you'll see they have reason to be. Let's take another look at what they saw. Hey, want to know how I got this $50,000 check for an accident I was involved in over five months ago? Look, if you've been injured in a car accident, it looks like a faceless being. As they rush away through the jungle, they catch another creature in their purview. Looks like a bunch of people with masks on. Did you see that? Here it is again, slowly this time. see much of anything there is definitely a figure standing there but is it the devil a third capture seems to blur the lines even more what are these figures? I'm not sure if they're demons, skinwalkers, or the devil himself, but whatever they are, somebody I know in I don't a want costume. to get a closer look. Exploration Unknown is a Knoxville-based urban exploration channel run by a man named John Turner. First appearing on YouTube like in 2016, him. he dedicates his time to venturing into creepy abandoned locations from derelict home to former orphanages and asylums. His choice of location will often have a, a while, gruesome true story behind them, oh, including the takings the of life and other that horrible big of a events. Then. I don't know what he back is now. in November 2017, John, along with friends James cool. and Tim, returned to the abandoned Glendale Orphanage they previously explored. This time their was goal was to conduct the infamous 3 a.m. challenge. <laughs> in short, 3 a.m. is considered the witching hour. The perfect time for hunting ghosts. Almost right off the bat at the video start, John and the others have split up when a wooden board is seen falling on its own from behind a doorway. That could John be the house to falling investigate, apart. And much to his shock and slight bemusement, it turns out it was just James playing a uh. joke on them. This appears to be in James's nature as he does so again when he slams a metal door shut. 
scaring John so badly, he accidentally stops recording. Jokes aside, Tim soon begins to feel lightheaded after the trio go to the second floor and therefore decides to head outside for some air. Meanwhile, James and John continue to investigate the second floor, finding the normal things you would expect in an abandoned building graffiti, specks of dust, etc. When they descend the stairs back to the first floor, they are shocked to find Tim collapse on the floor, out cold. Down in the basement, I hope I got reception down there. Tim? Dude, you okay? Tim. Tim, dude. Tim, Tim. Bro, what are you doing? You okay, man? Thankfully, they were able to wake him, although he is clearly dazed and groggy. The reaction from John and James are of genuine concern and confusion, and Tim appears to be really out of it with a pale complexion. Deciding Tim's safety is more important, James and John help their fallen friend back outside and back to the car. Clearly shaken by the incident, John and James decide not to venture into the basement and instead, footage of their previous visit is shown. It is unknown what exactly happened, and no other paranormal activity can be seen in the footage, so it is undetermined if Tim was the victim of some sort of attachment. He does show the common signs of paranormal yeah. attachment, which often I can't manifests say way, as feeling lightheaded if James and is nauseated. Involved, the band, it can even lead to passing out. What could also be possible saying. is Tim came under the effects of harmful dust in the building. Considering the age and state of the orphanage, it is possible Tim became overwhelmed by particles such as asbestos, a once common insulation that can cause damage to the lungs if breathed in. The fact that John and James were unaffected does cast some doubt on this theory, although it is still completely possible. Regardless, finding your friend unconscious on the floor of such an eerie location is certain to scare anyone. Thankfully, Tim was okay and apparently started feeling a bit better after resting by the car. With that said, the three decided to call it a night and left the location. John clarified in the video description and comments Tim was okay and recovered, as well as thanking those who expressed concern for his condition. On February 21st, 2021, John uploaded a director's cut of the original video, acting as a sort of commentary. John discusses his personal experience that night. He stated he felt concerned about Tim when he said he wasn't feeling good and expressed regret for not going with Tim to make sure he was all right. He also said he has received messages from people who had lived there during its operation, saying they actually had good experiences while residing there. They considered it a home with the staff taking good care of them. Comparing it to places such as Lechworth Village, it is a relief to hear good experiences about an orphanage as they can be notorious for negativity to put it mildly. When discussing the moment he and James found Tim, he said it looked as if he broke his leg. It is at this point John himself discusses a possible third explanation for Tim's condition. According to John, Tim had been up almost 30 hours at this point and had actually worked a full shift of work prior to joining the others. However, he also expresses Tim is sensitive to locations, including a time he collapsed at Skinwalker Ranch. This gives further support something had attached to him, but considering the positive remarks oh, from former residents, <laughs> it's hard to say what the attached. Fan? It's good to know Tim turned out okay in the end, Omar's as these investigations can cause Bo. serious Bo consequences. Bo's this car is making Omar's its way down the BK Expressway in you Singapore ever watch Beardo get when it scared manages to catch the, the split-second image of what guy? could be a paranormal hitchhiker searching for its next ride. The ghostly presence looks too tall to be a normal human being, and its limbs look too long as well. Though I guess this stretched appearance could be an optical illusion from being captured at a high rate of speed. That. Some people even say it looks like they are floating. I want to hear your opinion, so let me know oh. if you agree. That? Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Sweet 2000 this redditor wrote, Hi all, we moved into a council house since January, and we had some very strange things happening. What's the council we have a vintage house? radio, and it has been making some strange noises. The weird thing is, there isn't any batteries inside it. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Show us that there's no batteries inside without an edit. 
Fish? Shin. Sorry. Then that. Sorry. What's that? There is certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Let Shift Lada wrote, That's really strange. Well, GameCat UK wrote, Where is the radio in the video? Do you have a picture? I have a feeling it's a rare example of an old semiconductor picking up on local radio waves, though the amplification is baffling. I think the radio is that thing in the bottom left corner at the five second mark. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. When you're searching for ghosts, beware. You DNA might just find me? one. Posted by DNA TV in September of 2019, this video is not for the faint of heart. The description reads, Lexi returns with Dave to one of the most haunted and active locations we have ever visited. From the moment we arrived, things kicked off and didn't stop till we left. To this day, this is some of the most intense paranormal activity we have ever encountered. The gripping 25 minute video keeps you on the edge of your seat as the pair explore the abandoned site. They know that the place has been slashed up and destroyed since they last visited. At the end of the video, they hear some noises that cause them to freeze in place. They decide to go and have a look. Throughout the video, some in the comments note hearing voices of disembodied entities. At one point, they hear a footstep. Using an EVP, they ask the ghost if that was him walking next to Lexi. They get a yes from the ghost. If that was you, can you say yes? If you want to walk and talk with ghosts, this haunted site is a good place to start. A man is filming this old medieval building on the Mediterranean island of Sardinia when he notices the curtains of a balcony window are peeled back slightly to reveal a small grayish object peeking out from the bottom. Okay, I see it. <clears throat> Zoom in, and it almost looks like a tiny face, or else the top of someone's head who is very short, perhaps a small child. It could be a reflection of the palm tree swaying in the wind, or it could be a trapped spirit staring haplessly at the world to which it no longer belongs. Something is terrorizing these poor pets. Originally posted to TikTok by El Otro Lado 21. A pair of pups are surprised by an unknown object being pulled or pushed across the ground. The security footage shows an item roll across the floor, seemingly on its own. Is it being dragged? Is it being rolled? By whom? That's a trail behind it. One dog moves from his seat on the couch, while the other merely lifts his head as the object Why does it have a trail rolls behind it? following his friend's lead. Is a human playing a trick on these animals? Or is it a phantom? If you ever find yourself swimming with the fishes, you'd better hope they're not piranhas. The bite force of a black piranha is incredibly powerful. It's three times as strong as an American alligator and 30 Damn. times stronger than its own weight. Point being, no dentist would want to work on these chompers. This video shows just how effective a piranha bite can be. Published in May of 2011, this bite test was administered in Ecuador. Holding a piranha in one hand and a stick in the other, the man brings the stick near the piranha's mouth and the fish easily and instantly snips like a pair of scissors. There's no question about it, if given a chance, the seemingly innocent fish will take more than a bite out of you. It may take a limb. Everyone knows that in the wild, you're a guest in nature's home. Is that a bear? Except these people, apparently. Published a YouTube by Cone Baby. This group was captured on camera getting too close to the oh. wildlife in Yellowstone Buffalo. National Park. Hey, guys. We've run into a bison here and stupid bison. girls are approaching it. Bison can run up to 30 miles an hour and gore you to death, so who knows if I The buffalo at first looks like he's minding his own business, but then... Yeah. We're just going to sit and watch him feed for a little bit, and uh... Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
In my opinion, this video <laughs> should serve as a warning to anyone who visits a national park. Don't be an intrusive guest in nature's home. If insects right? aren't your I hate thing, people that do that. then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader oh my writes gosh. During our family holiday ah, in 1996 or 7, we had oh parked the gosh. car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires, an absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought Hell not. No. What would you do if you ran into a massive python in the paranormal all in one night? Published to YouTube in June of 2020 by Catch 'em All Fishing. That's exactly what happened to this explorer as he trapezed through the ramshackle underground city. Ramshackle. In fact, Zach seems to have gone here specifically to look for snakes. The abandoned place is, in and of itself, creepy enough. He keeps shouting hello as he begins his journey, and his echo rings eerily throughout the enormous space. The dark, damp place seems like the perfect breeding ground for snakes. At one point, around 4 minutes and 15 seconds, Zack appears to capture the beam of a flashlight bouncing off a distant wall. He also hears voices. He may not be alone down here. He rushes over to see who else is there, but he says the voices have stopped. Then he hears the haunted voices again. It's more like a moaning, which is made even more terrifying by the echo. Then at 5 minutes and 53 seconds, Zack abruptly turns to a doorway, seeming to sense something there, and it appears that something is there. If you watch in slow-mo, an obscure figure is standing in the darkness of the opposite room. Okay, Although he got the heck out of there, Zack's night didn't end there. As he's driving home, he crosses paths with what he'd been looking for all along, a snake. Zack chases down an enormous python. He manages to grab it by the tail while the snake tries to bury its head in the sand. He grips the snake near its head and shows the audience its fangs as the python starts to wrap its thick body around his arm. I think this is exactly why you should never grab a python. Zack tries to release the snake into a bag and does manage to collect him and zip him inside without getting tagged. Between encountering what may have been the paranormal in the underground city and prying this python from his arm, one thing's for sure, this dude has nerves of steel. The devil. This house has the hand of the devil on it. YouTube team HD Adam investigates the creepy place and hopefully they won't be touched by it. As they search the empty place, loud bangs and creepy whispers are heard. <laughs> I don't think that voice was the cameraman, and as they continue through the home, that becomes more apparent. Why are the ceilings so low? Or are they just really tall? <laughs> Upstairs, things start to get creepier. Here we go! Heads in takeoff mode! Let's fly! Why are we. With sounds coming from all around you, they grow nervous. Ifrit! There's something inside this thing. You can hit the ground. That's and I off wouldn't you. want it to get well, out. Or maybe it's, it's gotten out already. Like <laughs> That was so CGI. 
Emre sen niye kilitleniyorsun oğlum? That was a hand waving from the beyond. Is it the hand of the devil? These guys think so, and it's not going to let them leave. Abi gidiyorum, peşimden gel. I think I've seen this video before. Koş, koş, koş. Var mı bir şey? Abi bir şey yok. Tuvalete de bakıyorum. Would you expect mercy at the hands of the devil? Me neither. That's why I'd get out while I still can, if that's even an option at this point. Number seven. TikToker KC Rav is not home alone. This security footage captured something super creepy near the stairway leading upstairs. Watch the dark corner. The dark corner, okay. A large figure appears to peek out from beneath in the darkness. From the TikToker's description of the video, it sounds like the dark corner is another stairway leading down to another level of the home. Let's take a closer look. I see it. I don't know what I'm seeing though. What is that? It definitely <laughs> looks like a person to me. Another mysterious aspect of this video is the movement in the reflection to the left. I'm not sure if that's glass or a mirror, but something is moving and flickering past and then disappears. Are these two mysteries related? Whatever is going on here, if that isn't a ghost, it's an intruder. Either way, I think she should leave. A YouTuber named Be Crossover careful. likes to play basketball. Mommy loves you too. We all know that's not, not why he's on this list. Camera. He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted. At least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but you know, I kind of scrapped them. They were a little bit weird and I don't even know what was going on. And behind him, one of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. Get over here. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he That's goes so off fake. camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. Going to medical school presents many challenges, high tuition, debt, and the occasional wild animal encounter. If you were coming up the steps and saw a black panther animal barreling at you, you would almost certainly run. Big yeah. mistake. It's already in motion and your panic would trigger its instincts. You're not getting far. The panther starts to go into someone's room, but something makes it think twice about going in. It probably doesn't like being cornered with one exit and chooses not to go further inside. The college in Karnataka, India went into lockdown as a result of this scary CCTV video. Yeah, I guess that would do it. I should point out that this isn't all that uncommon in schools across India and I found some other creepy videos too. Here's a leopard at a college in Nainital. Thankfully, the only prey he finds is a car passing by. But imagine a college student looking at their feet walking along this fence. They'd never see it coming. I just hope everybody's all right. It's almost 3 a.m. and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. 
Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat in absolutely freezing cold weather and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch the street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. While investigating the Ancient Ram Inn, YouTuber Ooh, After Dark Paranormal Ram. captured what they believe is paranormal activity. Watch the creepy doll sitting atop the Ouija board. Is that a Ouija board you like? Or is it the doll? Or is it one of us? Anybody could have done that. The doll appears to answer dramatically. The sensory device starts flashing at the same time the doll starts to fall. Although this could be paranormal activity, the doll appears to me to be sitting precariously on the board. The tumble it takes looks like it could have been natural. The team says they tried to replicate it but couldn't. They spent over an hour trying to do so, including kicking that. and pushing the solid oak barrel. So I'm on the <laughs> fence with this one. What do you think? A YouTube channel called Mysterious Oklahoma received this video from a subscriber who claims to have kept seeing something out of the corner of their eye in one spot of their house. So they set up a camera to record what they capture as a fast-moving creature they refer to only as the thing, which apparently moves so fast the camera has trouble keeping up. When you pause on it, you can see a very small figure that looks to be slightly lower resolution than the rest of the video, so it might not be real. This creepy area is reputed to be haunted by a young man whose life was ended by a passing train nearby. Are we about to see his apparition? Posted by Ghost Videos, this scary video was captured outside of the village of Stansteed Mountain Fitchhead in the UK. The murky woodland path is mysterious enough with its bare trees, black river, and heavy fog. And then this mysterious figure turns the mystery up a notch. A semi-transparent shape that's faintly human-like appears near the river bank. A close-up of the figure shows it swiftly moving in and out of view, vanishing as quickly as it appeared. Some in the comments think this looks completely original. Others are wondering if the cameraman felt a paranormal presence in the moment. If not paranormal in nature, what could this be? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Tell me what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. Tell me if there's any other videos you'd want me to watch. Or just tell me to go to hell. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you woke up today, you're already winning. Peace.